Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. We discuss adult topics and uh, we take part in adult hobbies such as reading, um, photography and mostly colouring. This is what this is. Uh, this is a colouring video. These videos are not made for children in any way, shape or form and nor are they aimed at them. So today I am going to show you all the colouring supplies, not many, and books, a few, that I bought in the month of February 2020. Oh dear, I'm getting old. So, I finally picked up the Black Widow Skin Tones Dark Tones. So, I am really pleased that I've got them all now of the Black Widow pencils as they stand. Now, I have heard a rumour that they are bringing out another 48 set in April. But as of now, I have them all. Yay, finally. Now, the second um, thing I bought this month, which is a, a colouring supply, uh, something I wanted to try for a while, but they're very expensive and I didn't want to buy a big set. So I bought a 10 set of the Cadden Dash watercolour, water soluble Neo Colour 2's pastel crayons. So I haven't used them yet. Here they are. So you get your basic colours, which is all I want at the moment to see if I like them. If I do, then I might set it, save up and buy a bigger set, or I might just buy a few more open stock just to complement the ones I've got till I decide whether or not I want all of them. I do believe there's 120 now, so it's 50 colours in there, but um, yeah, so we've got yellow through white, black, brown, blues, reds, and so on. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with those. I'm going to enjoy trying them out soon. And you all say, oh no, you should have just bought the bigger set. Well, yeah, I just don't have money. It doesn't grow on trees. I'm trying to save as much as I can. And I've got so many supplies, I don't use them all at the moment. And I like to buy my books. So, the books I bought in February. February, I can't speak today. February. The first one I've got here is, everybody's doing colour by numbers. I don't do these. I bought two colour by numbers books. I got colour by numbers mandalas. These are from the works, they were four pound. Now, I'm not sure about this book. I don't think it was probably the best one to buy. Um, one of the things they suggest that you do is take the page out and copy it. It's a very, very smooth, glossy paper. And there are beginning, intermediate and advanced designs, which is fine. And they tell you what you can use, whether it, you know, you can use your crayons, your markers, your pencils, etc. And it gives you the various colouring styles that you can use. What the pictures look like. And it tells you how to transfer the template if you wanted to do that rather than just colouring the book. It gives you a copy of each of the pictures that you're going to be colouring. You've got your colour by number key here. Now what I'll probably do is scan that into my computer and print it out. Or alternatively look at the numbers on the page and just write down which ones they are. Because I'm not going to do them all than once. I'm literally just going to colour them in the book. So it does show you all the pictures that you're going to be colouring in and what they should look like. <laughs> you just know they're not going to. So half the book is just these. Then when you get onto the pages you colour, it is not as glossy, to be fair, it's a lot better. And these first ones, they're not too bad. You've got the numbers there, no problem at all that you can copy into. And I might have a go at some of these next month. And then you get onto the hard ones, and that's fine, I don't have a problem with that. They're a lot more intricate, the, the, the intermediate ones. But when you get onto the advanced ones, there's no numbers. So it's not, and you can't even see it, but look, there's no numbers. So it's not exactly colour by number, is it? You just have to guess, which I think is a bit daft. So I'll probably do the easy ones and the intermediate ones and not bother with the advanced. So I've got that one, and I also got from the same publisher, I, who was it by? I didn't tell you who it was by. Um, Quart, Quartonose.com? Let me just see. I can't read that. Quartonose. Quarter Publishing, Water Foster Publishing. 
and I got another one which is the Colour by Number Flowers. This one was reduced to £2 from the original £10.99, so I thought I'm not leaving that there for two quid. Same idea, it tells you what you've got. It's got all the pictures there for you to see, getting harder and harder, and then at the end, of course, there's the colour chart as well in there. You've got your templates, as they call them, because they want you to copy them and do them more than once. Never going to happen. And the really hard ones, again, don't have the numbers. So, I, again, I will probably just colour the ones that have the numbers and not bother. But, again, I might have to go in that book next month. You never know. Next book I got is another Hannah Lynn one for my Hannah Lynn collection, and that's Enchanted Faces. Mermaids, Fairies and Fantasy Colouring Book. Because, of course, we are doing a Whimsical 2020 with Bibliophile Colourist and colouring in Hannah Lynn picture every month. And we will continue to do so. These ones are nice and simple because they're so big that we might even get more than one done. Um, and I like using markers in the Hannah Lynn books. They look so nice with the markers. So I'm definitely going to be doing one of these soon. I have uh, my first Jade Summer book. I think I've got more than one in this pile. Yes, I have. Um, and I got picked up Cute Witches. I finally picked up Cute Witches. Um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't pick this one up before. Probably because at the time it came out, I wasn't into the cutesy pictures. But now I quite like these cute little girls. So that's why I bought it. And there are some really nice ones in here. Like that one. Very Harry Potter. I like that one. So there's Cute Witches by Jade Summer. I have over 30 Jade Summer books. I still got hardly anywhere near all of them. Some of them aren't available now. A couple of Deborah Mullers this month. We picked up Springtime, which is one of our older ones. A whimsical colouring adventure. I do like this. And she's got another new book coming out very soon. And I'm looking forward to ordering that one. I think it's due out next week. And I'll be ordering it straight away. Because he covered this out after payday. She's got good time in that Deborah Muller. I really like this. It's so cute. So yeah, there's that one. And then we've got the newest one as it stands, which is a girlfriend's colouring book, which I like. Now some of these have two copies of the picture of it, uh, same picture, but with writing on it. Some of them have writing and some of them don't. So there's they're really cute. So there you can see that they, there's writing. So you might get that picture again, but without the writing on it. Which is pretty cool. I like the older ladies ones. The couple of little old ladies that are friends, like, going to the cinema or having coffee or going shopping. Two little ballerinas are cute. So that one. There, yeah, like that. So that's another nice Deborah Muller book. Can't wait to do something in that. Then the next one I've got is Kawaii Grayscale by Jade Summer. Now, as you know, last month we got the Chibi Girls Grayscale. We've been colouring in that one. So I thought I enjoyed that so much I'd get the Kawaii Girls and the Kawaii Grayscale book. Now, I do believe there's a St. Patrick's Day one in here. I'm sure there is. And I'm going to colour that in. Um, do a colouring chat for St. Patrick's and just do that that picture and just do the whole thing in one go in the, with the Everblend markers up. that that one that's the St Patrick's Day one lots of nice greens and that and I'll use my Everblends and if there's not enough greens which there are quite a lot of greens I've also got my Touch Touch 5 markers so I'll just use all those and we'll do this lovely little clean for St Patrick's Day so there's that one really like that and then I also picked up the newest one which is well, fairly newest one, Geometric Mandalas, because I like these ones to do at night in front of the TV, and they are just so pretty. I think there's 50 of them, 50 different ones. They're not that complicated. You could make them look like jewels like they have here, or you could just colour them in with glitter pens, bit of gel pens, which is what I am doing. I'm currently working on one in here. Hopefully, it'll be finished before the end of the month. And finally, the last book, of course, is Colour in Heaven, and it's the Animal Wonderland special, which is by Kanuko Aguza, which is the lady that drew... Uh, bah uh, I'll have to look. Bah uh, something in the forest. Rhapsody in the forest, and... 
Menuet de Bonheur, which I don't have either of those books, but these are all new designs, so these are not in those books apparently. I am working on one of these this month. I don't know if it'll be finished by the end of the month, but I do hope so. So not a massive haul, but bigger than last month's. We got some pencils and some Neo colours and a nice stack of books to add to our collection. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books to add to our collection this month. So well, that is it from me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I know there's a lot of you who watch these videos that are not subscribers. It would really help me out if you could subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time I pop a video up, hit the notification bell and you'll receive a notification on your phone or computer to let you know that there's a new video out by moi. That's it for this video. I'll see you all very, very soon with whatever it is we're doing next. Just one further thing, if you want to see flip throughs of any of these books, now there are flip throughs of some of them, including Animal Wonderland, just leave me a comment down below saying which book you'd like a flip through of and I will happily pop one up for you. Just let me know. And again, with any of the colouring books I ever use or haul or show, if you want a flip through, let me know. I will pop one up for you. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.